Hello my brothers and sisters. And you know what time it is? Yes, it's hammer time. This. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. No, it's not. It's time for another episode of Chris the Butcher. And friends. Do you remember a few weeks ago, I can't remember how long ago it was, it's irrelevant, right? I did a review on the Rustler's Gourmet Burger and it turned out, let's be honest, it was shit, right? And I threatened to do my own version. Now that threat has turned into a promise because that day is today where I do my very own copycat version of the Rustler's Gourmet Burger. So, with it being a Gourmet Burger, it's got to be decent ingredients, hasn't it? So, I've got here a 5% fat, lean mince, or ground beef, as some people call it. Now, I want to make four burgers, but I don't want to make massive ones, right? Listen, a bit of confession to make as well. Uh... I decided to do this after we'd finished work and locked up and I'd, I'd uh, I was miles away from work. So I had to buy this mince in the supermarket. Fuck's oh, it. I do apologise. But I think I'll cut that in half again. So that made four absolutely banging patties. So, listen, I'm going to mould these up. Don't want to mould them too much because I don't want the meat to go tough. And uh, I'll be back with you in a second when we come to season them. So, here we are, my brothers and sisters. Made into a nice patty shape. I'm now going to get some black pepper on these. On one side. Listen, I want to go to show you one side. But I'm going to do both sides identically the same. Got Kira knocking around. Plenty of salt. Because I want this, these burgers to have some flavour. And the salt and the pepper acts and gives it a really good crust. Now there's no way on this earth, right, that the Russell burger had have had this decent amount of meat in it. Or flavouring or seasoning. Is there? Just pick that up on that side. Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip them over. Oh and redo the other side because what I'm even. Right. I'm gonna season this side. Next time you see these though, they're going in the frying pan. So this pan is screaming hot. So we're gonna get unlike the rust as well, I'm gonna do a double one. And because I'm using the griddle, there's no oil in there whatsoever. So, uh, I don't know, what should we do with these for? Five minutes each side? Listen, I don't like them too bloody in the middle. But I do want, I want them, they're going to be good. These are going to be epic. Right, while these are doing this, I'm going to knock up this uh, mustard tomato mayo that's supposedly on it. And we'll do that right now. So, it's easy. You can still see. The burgers here. <laughs> and that fruit sheet bottle that Kieran threw at me about 30 seconds ago. I'll bid that and get him a new one. Right. Heinz mustard. I would have used uh, Coleman's but I didn't have any. Like mayonnaise because I've got to watch me figure. 
You know what I mean? And then tomato ketchup. It said tomato relish. But I didn't have any. Just give that a right good mix. And essentially, once that becomes warm colour, it's done. Right, with the mayo done, the burg is nearly half done. I've got my oven preheating to uh, 180 degrees, gas mark for 365 Fahrenheit, all that bollocks. Garlic fry light on my brioche bun. Because we've got to have garlic. We can't leave the garlic out, can we? Because, yes, you guessed it, we fucking love garlic in this house. Right, I'm going to get these toasted off. Just want them nice and toasty, nice and crisp. And uh, we're virtually there, brothers and sisters. And let's not forget, with the burgers, not far off ready. Some stro smoked <coughs> streaky bacon. So, let's build this Rustler's copycat gourmet burger. Right, there's the bottom of the brioche bun that is laced with garlic fry light. So the first thing, it's still warm by the way, so the first thing we're going to go on there with is a slice of cheese. I didn't realise how small these buns were to be honest. Then we're going to go with a burger. Then we're going to go with oh, another slice of cheese. Then we're going to go in with a burger. Oh, this is going to be bang tight, this. Then we're going to go on with a smoked streaky bacon. And then, obviously, I've got my lid. I've got my uh, mustard tomato mayo. I just put it all over the lid like that. And on your finger. And all over the place. Look at that. Bang it on top. Let's get down here and have a proper look at this bastard. And there it is. Obviously, I've, I've made it ten times better, haven't I? But essentially, I've used every ingredient that the Gourmet Rustler Burger uses. So, should we cut this in half, just for filming pleasure? If I can. I think I've managed it. Oh, sorry for my big hands. Oh, the reveal! The reveal! Holy shit. That's just a meat. That's just. That's a brioche bun just filled with fucking meat in it. That is mighty fucking fine. So, my brothers and sisters, we're going in for the taste test. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this in my job, but I'll certainly be able to slide it down my fucking gizzard. Then I'm going to pick it up. I should have cut it in half, really. But what do you see inside? Look. That's a brioche bun, cheese, burger, cheese, burger, streaky bacon, that sauce and the top of the brioche bun. Oh, it's already falling apart. Even so, it's still going to be ten times better than that bullshit that I taste tested, isn't it? That sauce is really nice. Burger's tender. No comparison, is it? Absolutely no. What's the weapon? I know I say this every time, but. That's the best fucking burger I've made so far. So, that was my Rustler's Gourmet Burger copycat 
recipe. But was it a recipe? Yeah, of course it was. Of course it was a copycat because he used everything that they used, down to the sauce, everything. Kieran's playing demolition in the living room somewhere. So it was a copycat, even though it looked nothing like it. It tasted nothing like it because it tasted absolutely 10 times better. You do some at home like that yourself, it's going to taste better. That sauce, I was surprised. Because I didn't weigh nothing, I just squipped that shit into a bowl, didn't I? I mixed it. But it was nice, it was nice, it was mad and fucking fine. So if you like it, press like, comment, share on all your social media. Listen, sharing is very, very important. Everybody's got to share, haven't they? Oh, and subscribe. I'll become a member of hashtag Team CTB. Where I fucking love y'all.